Oh, hey. I didn't see you there. What's up? It's the 20 year old with a Corvette, but still a Galliana Mopar till I die, baby till death. So I just want to say this video is brought to you and sponsored to you by Galliana's Van Dyke Dodge. That is where I got the big red eye. And you know, if you watch the video, so you see what happened. But another one will be coming. But that is where I got the big red eye. And that is where you can get your Hellcat, even your red eye, TRX, even the Dodge minivan, even the Ram. If you need one, man, make sure you ask for Therese when you go. Now, let's go over into parts where you get 15% off all parts as long as you prove and say that you're Saint Squad. So, Saint Squad get 15% off all parts. Galliana's Van Dyke Dodge in Warren in Michigan, man. Make sure you go and don't miss out. That is literally the best Dodge dealership I know. Now, let's get into this banger video. Grab. Uh. Only one here like this. What's the deal, y'all? Martillo, y'all. I'm coming to y'all with another banger video because you already know we only post bangers, y'all. Y'all see, we got the vet right here. What should we name the vet? Should we name it like Big Vet Vet or Big Biggie Vetty? Something or Vetty? It's like Betty Vetty. Should we name it Vetty? Y'all comment down below and let me know because I'm thinking about Vetty right now. But if y'all got any other ideas, let let me know, Saint Squad, because this is all of ours. Like I said, watch the last video if you haven't already. But anyways, y'all, so this is going to be my official drive. I know in the last video I showed y'all like a little driving and stuff, but this is going to be where y'all going to see like real deal me having fun in the Betty right here. You know what I'm saying? But this boy is looking so good sitting right here my mom said our neighbor we had a neighbor out walking and stuff and if he probably saw it in the garage she said he kept looking like like shocked like it's crazy how i haven't done anything to this yet and it's turning heads like crazy y'all like i'm loving it more and more every day but when we make it louder just stay tuned for that but i'm gonna show y'all going on the first drive full drive type beat we're gonna do some pulls we're gonna hear a shift and we're gonna hear everything because them shifts are Amazing. So let me give you all this cold start. I said, is you got to be louder than this? This is loud. Anyway, do I have to go get milk this morning? But y'all see right here, you see the yellow and stuff. So this indicates when the engine isn't warmed up. So this morning it was like red all the way to the floor. So you can't go over that when it's not warmed up. The RPMs. You see how I don't know if y'all can see like the little. It shows it, but that's when the engine isn't really all the way warmed up, and you see it right there. It, it, this oh, is honestly sweet. really cool. So what's yeah. the S for? What is that S for? Sport. Oh, you're in sport mode. Mm -hmm. I mean, drive or whatever. Sport. I'm in sport mode. Oh. Yeah. We are in Betty right now, man. And Make sure all them gauges have went away and the engine is warmed up, y'all. Oh man, this gauge cluster everything. So I have to throw the windows up, y'all. So I, it's, the sun is out today. I just gotta hear the shifts. I love the shifts, is the best part, man. Literally, oh my gosh, dude. The shifts are the. The shift is the best part, and then like it's literally so quick too. Like I didn't expect it to be quick. It's held to the ground. Everything. Now th this is really a American supercar. Driving the Lambo, everything compared to this and the Ferrari, all this stuff. Like this is the true American supercar. It has, it has like the downforce and everything with it, and it has like the quickness of it too. That's weird to me how it goes all the way down. Then when it go back to automatic, it's literally like I, I don't know. But anyways, let's see if we can slow down to 60, man. We're gonna try 60 road real quick in the streets of Mexico, of course. Go, go down one more. It's 56. and then like the gear shift is like it's it's heavy and because i know it's heavy it's like the caddies too my mom's car so it's a little heavy so when you go back from manual to automatic you literally gotta baby it to them because then you go to neutral and stuff or go up i had that I, I did that before on test drive no cap so it's like a little tricky man but 
This boy is really quick. And then you heard the shifts. Oh, man. Windows down. Tunnel coming up. Let's see if we can hear something. <laughs> it needs to be louder, dude. We need, we need to get this thing loud. We got, we got to get this thing louder. Way louder. totally different from a Mopar like they all have like their things and stuff like Mopar is meant for a drag strip and you can obviously tell that by when you cruising at like high speeds like that or whatever at, like even 80 70 when you just cruising in general you can feel all the air resistance basically but this is like it just shreds through the air dude like this is crazy it just shreds the air go through it the air go through the car that's what it feels like now if Mopar if they had the scat engine and a body like a vet basically the Viper nothing is stopping that dude it's literally insane but that's not what Mopar is Mopar is drag racing now the vet is C7 I would say it's the real deal American supercar it feels like one it handles like one the air it literally slices the air dude and I'm I'm loving how this feels they can handle good and everything like I'm loving how this feels so far no me loving this is not me going away from Mopar I will be back I'm still Mopar till I die I will be back Mopar soon man but how this feels right now is like insane y'all it got six pistons so that's good too so it can break and everything I just wonder what they're gonna say at Galeana's. This is gonna be Therese's first time seeing it. Well, all of them up there, which I'm basically pulling in right now. Here at Galeana's, man, they're gonna be like, what the heck, a red vet? That's heat. I can't vet to a Dodge dealership, but I'm, I'm still Mopar until I DIE, y'all. Don't, don't get it twisted, you know what I'm saying? You see how, did y'all hear how hard that was, though? Let's get out of this thing. Buttons, we don't have door handles. And then it's so. Oh, so it's like, oh, God, that hurt. You like that? Okay. okay. <laughs> Look how it sit. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at Therese. Hold on, because Snapchat, Snapchat got to hear about this. All right, so anybody who's watching the video. You can't drop it yet to the video. Oh. Just save your video channel. Uh, it just sits so nasty when it just uh, sit there. I ain't even gonna lie, this thing is hard. Oh, yeah. This thing is hard. Oh, yeah. You part of the Chevy gang, man. Bye. Don't worry, I'm bringing you back to Dodge once you have Durango get in. Bye. You like that. You'll see like a lot of stingrays and stuff. But then when you see this, because it's like you can notice the body lines and extra body on it, it, it just looked totally different. Galeano's, man, back in the service. They have, so this is a old school charger, right? Look at Tourette. But this is an old school charger, but they say it has a 6.4 in it. Look at the orange block under there. Just as clean underneath as it is outside. That's a nice right. Yeah, this boy looked good underneath too. <laughs> that orange block right here, because you know it's a Mopar. Look, that's like cat wrapping. Now that looks sweet. Like, that would look sweet if you could see under the car a lot. I would do that. And this boy is hard right here, same spot. What y'all think? Uh, one day I would build up me an old school, or you know Jada Brand. Jada Brand has an upload in a minute, but he's building like the Demon Charger right now. So the Demon Engine and the 69 Charger. When that's finished, that's gonna be hard, no cap. But this boy is, is nice. One day I will build like a Charger with like a Hellcat engine, in it. like an old school with a Hellcat engine. In it. I think that'd be hard. Sell it, Therese, sell it. Man, if somebody wants it, come get it. Hold on, turn this down, can't get copyrighted. All right, y'all, I feel like I had a long day at Galeana's, but I'll really be up here, like, literally all day. So, shout out to Galeana's, man. You already know the Dilio Martilio. So, someone called me. Actually, I'm, I'm probably not going to say too much. I'll probably explain it a little bit later. But yeah, y'all, so I'm headed home right now. Tomorrow. Cold start. Look, let me show y'all my favorite part. You see the yellow stuff? That's so sweet. That indicates you can't go past there because the engine is cold. Ooh, this thing is amazing and still blows my mind every day. I'm at about a half a tank, okay? So half a tank, well, over a half a tank. This is really better on gas, like insanely better. Not that bad. Get Marco, you ready? Mr. Billy on 
right, here we go, y'all. So it is the next day type beat, and me and Marco, we are heading up to this performance shop because, like I said, y'all, that build is gonna be crazy. So we're going up there now because I, I honestly, I like talking in person, and plus, I, I can't do phone calls. I, you know what I'm saying? Anxiety type beat. Not even anxiety. I don't know. I just don't like doing phone calls, dude. I just get nervous. I don't know why, but we're heading up there right now, man. It is like a little bit drive away, but it'll be all worth it. Marco came to CT, man. They showed us around the shop and everything, y'all. And it's a little wait time, but we are gonna do something. They recommended something else, which when we get into the performance stuff and performance videos and everything, we are gonna deep dive into all that stuff. But this is gonna be like average. It's gonna, it's gonna be nice, I would say. It's not gonna be like, I'm not trying to go kill, blow my engine up, all that stuff, because you guys know I am gonna be traveling, all that stuff, so it's gonna be like something nice. So I wanna do pro charts, but they gear me to a blower, which we'll talk all about that later on anyway, but it, I can't wait to build this, dude. This is like one of the things that I can actually build, like the red eye, 2021 red eye is like too much EPA stuff. I showed y'all the cats and everything, you can't do anything like that with it. But this is like something that's gonna be fun, crack, Burble crack all that stuff and it can shoot flames too. I want this to shoot flames. That's what I need. Two step. Oh, not two step, but like some boom. You know what I'm saying? That'll be heat. So, anyways, we came up here, talked to him, we got a tour and all that stuff. All, all my friends' stuff is in there. So we are about to actually head back home because I'm hungry, all this stuff, and that we did what we needed to do today. <laughs> Let me put y'all hit to, to some secret sauce. This is some secret sauce for y'all. Now, what y'all think? Get the grenades again, like the red eye? Nah, nah. These boys poop. Oh, the red eye has to. Yeah, the bullet cap. Yeah, I gotta get the bullet ones with the red eye, Dude. man. No cap. Clothes from AutoZone. You like that? Okay, so we got the new Chevy clothes in the trunk, man. We gotta represent Chevy gang, you know what I'm saying? We still won't part till we do IE, don't worry, y'all. So we got these. These are like the valve stems right here. I don't know what these are but they silver but these look more cool these were on the red eye so we just pop that on like that just like that y'all it, it's like it adds character to it you know what i'm saying like now they kind of stick out more it's like a little detail but it sticks out more you can see the red in there that go with the red type beat but anyway so now we are hungry because i know i'm starving marco hungry and we about to go up and get some food we about to eat good and look who pulled up drew pulled up look he got the news do what was them valve caps yeah yeah man you know what i'm saying that's all mandatory when you you know what i'm saying you got to get valve caps that's all mandatory now i haven't ate literally all day well i ate fruity pebbles in the morning but it's like i think it's like three o'clock right now i'm hoping yeah 329 i i literally haven't ate all day so we about to eat but look at the lineup man you know what i'm saying we got a mustang camaro vet chevy's ford you know what i'm saying Woo. I'm never gonna get over how nasty this boy sit. And then, literally, finishing up the stuff for next gen today, all that stuff, man. Next week is gonna be literally amazing. Starting with the first mod starts tomorrow, so that's y'all little hint. Make sure y'all stay tuned, turn on post notifications if you haven't already for that. This boy sit so nasty. When we go to next gen next week, it's gonna sit even nastier. So that's why I just gave y'all two hints for future videos. Subscribe, turn on post notifications. Now I'm starving, my stomach's been grumbling and all this stuff, so we finna go eat good. This thing is truly amazing and for like a first drive video, I didn't want to hit y'all the POV yet, but like me just showing y'all me enjoying my first times, my first drives with this thing because it's only gonna go up from here. It would have popped so bad, y'all. <laughs> this thing is literally so low. I just like, it's like a dead raccoon in the street or something. I just went over it. I thought it was gonna hit the bottom of the car. That's how low this thing is. But did you hear that shift? 
Oh my gosh, I can't wait until this thing is louder, Saint Squad. This is literally, dude, I'm loving this thing so far. It's so quick and stuff. It hooks. Imagine you try to do a pull every time you don't hook. This hooks everything. And then y'all saw we was at the performance shop earlier, man. Uh, we got some big things coming, but. <laughs> yes, sir. Back home, y'all. Turn this beautiful machinery off. So, y'all, this thing is literally amazing. This has been, like, my first really drive and stuff. So, the sound keeps reminding me of my mom's caddy. And it's, like, throwing me off a little bit. But, like, my first drive and everything, dude, you can really tell the difference between this and a red eye. And some people might be like, oh, dang, you went from 797 to whatever. I think, I think that's 430 to the wheels. The red eye is 7... 10 720 one of those which is a little bit of a difference yes but a lot of people don't factor in the weight of these things this 0 to 60 on this on the corvette this one i have grand sport this 0 to 60 is faster than the 0 to 60 on the hellcat and it's a lot of stuff people really don't factor in and stuff especially this is like 1500 pounds lighter not 500 1500 pounds lighter and weight comes into a play so let's say when i remember when i raced my boy sean uh dream cars daily shout out to dream cars daily man he getting his lambos back soon but remember when i did that the uh lambos versus the red eye well, as you see, the Lambo was walking the red eye every time, but the red eye come back a little bit at the top end, but it would hit it, would hit it, walk it every time just because of the weight difference. Lambos are only like, they even lighter than Vets, I think, but by like 200 pounds or so, but Lambos, the Lambo is walking every time and that's only 640 to the crank, so like five something to the wheels just because it's super light. So a lot of people don't take an effect of how light these, these are and how aerodynamic it is also. So that makes this incredibly fast. Like when I, y'all saw my facial expressions and all that, this thing is quick. So for y'all saying 797 and that, all that stuff, you got to take, it's way more than just power when it comes to cars. It comes to aerodynamics, weight and all that stuff. Yes, Mopar is the true, la the well, I want to say the last true American muscle. That's that's why I'm always be Mopar to IDIE and I'm always love Mopars. But this thing just gives me that supercar feeling. And I love my supercars and stuff, Saint Squad. Y'all know that. And that, that's what this gives me. And I'm, I'm just starting, I'm loving it. The more I drive it every time, I'm loving it even more. So imagine this thing. The Z06 is five, around like the 570 mark on wheel horsepower. So when I went to CT today, we're going to get this thing up through to the 500 through 610 wheel horsepower thing. Now that is that is faster. Well, 570 up wheel is faster than the Z06, and it's literally it's cheaper to mod. And CT, we're gonna build a partnership, and I'm gonna be there and show y'all the whole process and stuff, which I'm excited about. But this thing, aerodynamic wise and stuff, I, I'm loving how this thing drives so far, Saint Squad. I really am. So I want y'all to comment down below. Let me know by what I showed y'all. What do y'all think, man? And are y'all excited for the plants that we have to come up? I am also adding extra aero too, so this thing is gonna be nasty. So I'm adding all that stuff to ZR1, add on ZR1, add on ZR1. Ooh, I gave y'all a little hint right there. But y'all, just because it's a lower power range, but you got to look at the vehicle, don't underestimate it because it's going to be crazy. So I bet you when this thing is done with the upgrades it gets, you know what I'm saying? I want to go Pro Charger, maybe Blur, whatever. When I get to the high 500 wheel horsepower range, this thing will be a monster i guarantee you it will beat a hellcat let's tell by this thing look at the air off right here so we got this right here and then through under here it goes up and goes like this and i know that's aero because i saw that on the new lamborghini huracan sto where it goes up through the vent thing and goes out through the roof so you can basically see it right there also y'all but then all this extra aero come out right there going voom, voom, y'all literally this is like a masterpiece thanks squad i'm happy y'all like this and i'm happy y'all convinced me to get it because like i said i left it up to y'all y'all opinions always matter because i wouldn't be this far without y'all and i'm happy we all came to a happy medium of getting the c7 and one of the crazy build on it because I, i'm really happy with it so thank you Saint squad for everything y'all do 801 p.m he ain't gonna hit this hoe for show
oh my gosh literally just freaking headers that's it headers no secondary cat still muffler did y'all i know y'all heard that transport z06 hey, yeah, yeah, you like that you these the they both oh, look the same except for the front splitter and i guess you could say the tie skirt too but that go all the way back there it's still straight down but look dude this thing is literally insane dude and okay it's a z06 and so lt1 lt4 but the only difference with the lt4 is there's a supercharger okay so it's only a supercharger so you know saint squad who was like you should just got a z06 and i was like no i want to build it and he like bro the z06 can handle more power it's the same engine z06 supercharger only handles seven pounds of boost you have to build the engine to go higher that's why when you add a pro charge on these they 570 wheel just like the z06 okay y'all like dude that literally insane but coming to woodward and having this basic stock car like this dude just makes me like feel a certain type of way like i don't know it just got me energetic to make the bit make the vet like the sweetest thing ever like that it just gave me the motivation because look it, the vet looks cool and all but we got we with a whole bunch of other cool cars so it's like i feel like left out if that makes sense so it's like y'all now i'm gonna have to go even crazier on the vet bill see you grinding man oh yeah of course you know yeah, grind don't stop the challenges bro for real yeah that's he yeah yes sir i like that how you yeah. feel yeah good I like the 300, bro. Thank you so much. About to put a 6.4 in it. So. For real? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you finna have this boy running, huh? Yeah. I like that. I, I like the new vet, man. Oh, yeah. That's you know. tough. Oh, you know. Yes, it's, sitting, it's sitting kind of nice over there, you know. Yes, sir. You gotta spin it, man. Come on, man. We gotta Whoa. Spin it. It's, it's all wheel drive. It's all wheel drive. You can't. Yeah. too fast. If I can slide an Equinox, you can slide this. I, I've tried, dude. <laughs> you tried to Once spin it? Once I get the 6.4 in it, I will. There's a. You got a, you know, in the fuse box, there's a. There's you want to try? You can try. You actually want me to spin your car? No. I mean, whoa, whoa, no, no, whoa. Wheel drive. When you take out the chip, then you can actually make the car permanently wheel wheel drive. Oh, yeah. That's what I was trying to tell him, buddy. He insisted I spin his car, so I'm like, oh. <laughs> So we pulled up to this one spot, but we about to move to another spot again, y'all. Y'all thought I was going home, too, didn't y'all? I'm a, I'm a, I forgot to tell y'all, I was so caught up in the moment. We was just turned Saint squad, but y'all thought I was going home. No, I just came to Wilbur, man. And this is my favorite spot we come to on Wilbur, man. We all lined up, chilling and stuff. Ty was already here. But this boy is rocking, dude. No way. Look, we got the cars all lined up. All the side spots is taken up. We got some old schools over there. What do you think, of, huh? what do you think about the parking lot, bro? Bro, this it's boy rocking. See, this is always my favorite spot to come, bro. Yeah. Always. Bro, I look so like. I'm just so ready to do something. It looks so fair being out here. Like, it looked hard, but it looked fair for me, you know? Yeah, I like yeah, being yeah. over the top, go crazy. I can't wait to do something to it, bro. Heck yeah, bro. I can't wait. I can't I wait know. for that cam, bro. Oh, that yeah. stage four cam. Whoa. <laughs> I'm gonna do a baby cam. I don't want to be at the light Man, rocking. Listen, we're gonna hear that chop, 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 chop. You <laughs> like that? Hey. Where's your Corvette? It's right there. Huh? You like it? Yeah, I love it. I'm saying so we got we got some snacks man while we sit here and chill you know so we got some gum good good breath good taste type beat your girlfriend come up she want to kiss my my breath you feel me we got some cheese you know what I'm saying some twister and my favorite candy the sweetest fish remember that if y'all want to get me some candy remember my favorite is sweetest fish and my favorite drink is probably that gold peak sweet tea the extra sweet tea like i think it's like two gold peaks and two different bottles but it's like i don't know how to explain the bottle next time y'all just stay tuned we'll figure it out and saint squad for y'all supporting me man i really appreciate it this is for y'all because if i'm hungry but anyways if i'm hungry y'all hungry so thank y'all saint squad for everything and thank you for smashing the like button here this yours Mmm, that, that boy is good, huh? Y'all y'all like that. Them hey, cheese is bang. Who? Who car just got hit? Yo, what? what just got hit? Mustang. 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 Oh. They fought, bro. Oh, I didn't even see. That that buff out. Buff. Buff. <laughs> yeah, buff bro, where, when did this happen? Just now. Just now? Suburban. We call that a hit and run. I think that a buff out, except for like that one. Okay. You can feel it. 
this one buff out on it. just need repainted, huh? That you can take off with literally just wipes. Yeah, that's not what the heck? Let's do this to the vet. You want to pay for it? That's like an emergency helicopter or something like. Oh, stinger. <laughs> hey, hey, you like Call of Duty? Pull out that stinger. Wow. <laughs> hey. You see what you car guys do to make me get gas? I'm just trying you to get be gas. Serious, dude. This is four twenty nine a gallon. Really? I, I don't have. I spent all my we, money on the Corvette. We can only put in for $22.82. <laughs> That's all we got here, big one. I'm broke too. I spent all my I'm money broke. on the Corvette. I, yeah, you we, haven't gotten the insurance for right. that. I still got to pay my But I feel like what too. Galeana said, true though. Man, you can't get, you're not going to be able to get that smell out of there. Yeah. That is so true. I don't even know if I would want to fix it if they could. But it is big red eye, you know. Tell them I need 200k. You need 200k. Oh, watch every ad. Ooh, every ad, every single one, because we get money from them. All too. 22, because it's a 40 minute video. Damn, 22. 22 ads. What happened over here? Yo, Johnny hooked huh? me up. It's number two, uh, number two on the night. <laughs> All these. No way. Bumper is already fucked up anyway. Yeah. Was this cracker already? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All he did was this. Oh, it's his right here. Yours? Yeah. That's on me, bro. Do you mind sharing us or anything with that? Yeah, I got a share. Oh, oh, fuck that shirt. Hey. That's Ice Cube in the Hellcat. On the screen. That's you got on the screen. Who you next? I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, my guy. Alright, bro. You see them cop lights, that means it's time to go. I'm going home, y'all. Smash that like button if you haven't already. Then subscribe and turn on post notifications because you know we have more bangers. Thank you all for supporting me, Saints, but I wouldn't be here without y'all. And it's a car from me. I can't do a pull, but peace.